Welcome to part two of our video on how to create your first active report, where you will learn how to sort, use layout tables, and adjust fonts. Open the sample report named 5 My First Active Report. Click Team Content, Get Started, then beside 5 My First Active Report, click the More icon and select Edit Report. To sort the values in the drop-down alphabetically, select the Data drop-down list, open the Properties, and click the Ellipsis button next to Sorting. In the Sorting dialog, double-click Education Level to add it to the sort list and click OK. Close the Properties. You can use layout tables to build a more effective report header. In this case, we'll set up more detailed title information in one part of the header, with the drop-down list and a label in another part to use the space most efficiently. Open the Toolbox panel and drag a table from the Pinned section to the left of the Education Level text item. Leave the defaults in the dialog and click OK. Select the right table cell and click the Horizontal Alignment Options icon in the Context Toolbar and select Right. From the Toolbox, drag another table into the same cell. This time, uncheck Maximize Width and click OK. Drag the Education Level text item into the first cell of the new table. Drag the drop-down list into the second cell. Copy the Education Level text item by clicking to select it, then pressing Ctrl-C on your keyboard. Select the first table cell and paste the text item with Ctrl-V. Double-click the text item, change it to American Time Use, and click OK. Select the American Time Use text item, copy it with Ctrl-C, and paste it into the same table cell with Ctrl-V. Double-click the second copy, change the text to dash average minutes per day, and click OK. With the second one still selected, click Font in the Context Toolbar, select 12 point, and click OK. Select the Education Level text item, click Font, in the Context Toolbar, select 10 point, and click OK. To test the modified report, click Run Options and select Run Active Report. The Active Report will open in a new browser tab. Now we can see our new layout, we can test that there's a default value in the filter, and if we change the filter, all of the pie charts change. Congratulations! You have learned how to enhance an active report. You can go back to the original browser tab and save the report into My Content and open it again later. Thank you for watching this video on how to enhance your first active report. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel to learn more about using IBM Cognos Analytics 11.